Hey guys, welcome back, hope you're all well. So on today's episode, we're gonna be reviewing and comparing two bikes, and that is the Bronson MX against the Nomad 27.5. So first up, we have the Santa Cruz Bronson. So this is a mixed wheel bike. So we've got 29er up front and a 27.5 on the rear. 150 mil on the rear travel and then 160 up front. And then next up we have the Santa Cruz Nomad. So that's 170 throughout and 27 and a half inch wheels. So if we look at Geo on both bikes, they're very similar and different in uh, their own way. The head angle on the Nomad is slacker. So when it comes to the steeper descent, it will come out on top and feel more supported if you're in the right angle when you're descending. And then the Bronson has a steeper seat angle by a degree. So that way it'll bring the seat into the right position when you're on the climbs and therefore on paper, it will be a better pedaler on the climbs in comparison to the Nomad. One major difference between both bikes is on the Santa Cruz Bronson, it's got a 29er wheel up front and a 27 on the back. So this is classed as a mullet and an MX version. So mullets are trending and they are very hot off the peg throughout a lot of manufacturers at the moment. And the reason behind this is on paper, 29 inch wheels are faster in a straight line. There's no getting around that. And then 27 and a half inch wheels are a lot more playful. So on this particular setup and on any other kind of mullet versions out there, you've got business up the front, party in the back. Having a 29er up front it just makes it a lot more easier and in theory it makes a bigger obstacle smaller. So you've got the front wheel that can carry the speed over the rough stuff and then the back wheel will naturally follow. In turns one thing that I find when I'm riding the Bronson and comparing the Bronson back to back with the Nomad is sometimes on the smaller front wheel when you turn in you kind of lose the front end um, a lot easier on the 27 and a half and the 29ers just hold their own. So when you're pushing uh, throughout that front wheel, you just a lot more grip on that 29er front end. Yeah. So both bikes are very stable and planted throughout the trail. So when you're up out of the saddle, you can really tell that supportiveness feel that you've got underneath you. Um, very balanced bikes as well. I think the Bronson manual's better, so it's easy to pop onto the back wheel. 29er up front, so naturally, it kind of just makes it easier. I always run 35 mil and a 30 mil rise stem. So majority of my bikes, whenever I'm riding, they've all got the same feel front end. And I think it's just easier and more balanced um, on the Bronson as opposed to the Nomad. So the Nomad is 27 and a half throughout and this bike is a bike that I'm riding at the minute that's why it's got a lot of dust on it I've been out back to back uh, for the last three days on it and I'm same again riding it tonight at my local so run down on this bike and kind of the features that I've been riding I've been covering jumps corners routes descents climbs so I've covered a lot of ground on this particular bike and I've also done the same on the Bronson, so I've got a good idea of how both bikes compare back to back. Santa Cruz have really dialed this bike in. So on the previous model, when I rode that, I was catching the cranks a lot, a lot of pedal strikes. With this one, it's the same height, BB height as the Bronson. And both bikes, you will not have an issue with catching the cranks. So that's one thing that they've kind of cleaned up about the Nomad of uh, Cruz, and it is really, really efficient. And then with the lower link VPP driven suspension, it is just the perfect fine tuned bike for smashing through the rough stuff and then really letting go on the descents. So let's talk about climbing. So on this Bronson, it's got a fairly steep seat angle. Um, it is a degree steeper than the Nomad and the pedaling platform I would say is better on this. So if you're spending a lot of time in the saddle and you like to pedal, the Bronson may come out on top and be the better suited bike for you. The Nomad is a bike that's designed for the descents over, you know, they're both on that lower link platform and they're both pedal incredibly, but the Nomad is catered for the descents. That get to the top of the mountain as quickly and the most efficiently as you can, and then send it down. And when you point that bike down a hill, that's when it really gets into its own. 
and the Bronson is more kind of your generic trail bike, it'll kit for all, it'll do whatever you throw at it. It's still got a lot of travel, so it'll give you that confidence feel. So in the past, I've had two Bronson MX. I've had both colors, so I've had the Moss Gloss Green, did a really nice build on that, and then I had Payday Gold, which that build blew my mind. That, that's one bike that I do miss. Colorway was just full gold, which if you go back and check out our previous videos, you will see that build and review on that bike. But at the moment, I'm running the Nomad. So this is a CC X01 spec as it had come out of the box, so it's got the factory forks in it, it's got the X2 coil in it, which I'm really liking this coil. I've found it nice and progressive, but yet the top end, the rebound, how I've got it set up is just perfectly suited to me, and it's so plush. The minute you swing uh, a leg over it, it's just so firm and nice and plush from that uh, top end, so really liking the X2. And then 38s, I've been running 38s now for well, since the new 38s come out, and I really like them. Um, just little fine tunes here and there, but yeah, solid fork, solid platform, and then on that lower link, unbelievable. We're running the 35 stem uh, with 35, so this is a different um, bar that I tend to run. I usually run the Bergtech 30 mil, and on this bike, um, it's running the 35 mil. So a little bit, obviously five mil doesn't sound a lot, but it does throw your riding style out if you're used to a certain setup. So the bar just took a little bit of getting used to, but I absolutely love this bike now. I've, ride, I've ridden this bike for the last three days back to back, same place, same jumps, same turns, and it just doesn't get boring at all. It just keeps on giving this bike. And I think the more you throw at it, the better it gets. So the steeper, you, the, the more steep trails you chuck at it, the better it gets. The faster you go on it, the better it gets. So with this bike, I don't really think it's got a limit out there. So if you look at the tall boy and compare tall boy to this, tall boy will reach limitation. The Nomad has got no limits at all. You can chuck whatever. It'd be perfect for uplift days, bike parks. If you're going to Morzine and doing some trips abroad, it'd be the perfect uplift bike um, and really, really fun as well. If you've got speed and the gravity to pull you, it doesn't necessarily matter about it being 27 and a half. You know, it's not going to lose out when it, you've got some throwing steepness at it. And also, comparing a 27 towards a 29er, for some riders, it does make it easier having smaller wheels. You can get around tight turns, you can pick it up over routes, and just really pick and hold your line. Considering that the bike is 170mm suspension throughout, this bike is super agile and super playful. Uh, it's one thing that caught my eye about this bike. I thought, big bike, a lot of suspension to throw around, but as soon as you get a leg over it and then you dial it in to kind of your settings, it's so agile and playful. And maybe comparing it to a 5010, you know, it's not going to be the same pickup as you would get on a um, 5010. But considering it's got 170mm suspension, it is such a grounded bike for the amount of travel that it's got. So in my experience on riding both the Bronson and the Nomad, they are both superb bikes. And if you're looking for the perfect all-rounder trail bike, I'd be more driven towards the Bronson. And if you're looking for a bike that you just want to take out, do lap in and lap out of the bike parks and still be able to pedal up the mountains, but you're just not that eager about smashing your PBs on the climbs, I'd be more driven towards the Nomad. The Nomad just excels in everything you throw at it and just keeps getting better and better and better. Whereas the Bronson, you could happily go and do a Moors ride, spend 30 miles in the saddle and be comfortable in the position that it is. And it'll just roll, roll over all the routes, making it easier just on that front end with the 29er. And for the longer drawn out descents, it will be more beneficial than the Nomad. If I personally was to choose a bike between the Bronson and the Nomad, I am at the moment, I'm more driven towards the Nomad. That's just because of the small wheels at the minute. I'm just having so much fun on it. Um, and I'm really, really liking the plushness of this bike. And I'm very, very um, driven towards the Nomad at the minute. But saying that, by the time I get back on a Bronson and spend a lot of time on the Bronson, I'm going to love that just as much. So the same, they're very different bikes, but very same in a way. We have a lot of customers that are toying between both bikes, and the majority of them at the moment are going towards the Bronson because they just want a generic trail bike that they just want to do everything on. 
Um, and then a lot of the Nomad customers are the ones that race a bit of enduro, uh, they want to tackle the mountains, take it to the Alps and have a bike for the uplift, so a lot are driven towards the Nomad. One thing this year crews are killing it with is the colours. Colours of the new bikes coming through and current bikes are unbelievable. Like this Nomad that I'm riding at the minute has the Oxblood finish, so you can see the depth of the carbon and you can see where they've layered it up to make it stiffer and more rigid in certain places and the carbon weave that you can see through when the sun shines on it is unbelievable and the other colour is a green so it's like a add a green and then it's got pink decals and same again that colour is so good on the Bronson Moss Gloss so they always they usually do a full gloss one and then a matte one this is the Moss Gloss same again beautiful colour beautiful finish and then the Payday Gold is a gold finish, which comes in a matte. We've done a lot of Invisis that are gloss to bring out the colour. And when you put a gloss Invisi onto the matte finish, it looks insane. Check out a recent video. Um, if you click on our channel and check out the Bronson build that we did, put the gloss Invisi on that and it looks so good. So yeah, really, really smashing it with the colours at the minute. So to conclude, both bikes are absolutely in a world of their own. The Bronson, such a well-grounded bike, perfect trail bike and also perfect for pushing your limits and progressing on. The Nomad, made for the bike parks, absolutely insane. 170 mil worth of travel that you can just throw at anything and it will take it. On that note, I'm off to head to the trails. So thank you again for watching guys, really appreciate it. If you could please hit the thumbs up, subscribe and share with your mates, that would be kindly appreciated. If you've got any questions whatsoever, please do drop us a line in the comments. Thanks again for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.